Al, by almost any standard, is probably the best underwater photographer in the world. Al has brought a lot of awareness of the ocean animals to the public. He, I believe, replaced Rousteau. Everything you do with Al is exciting and everything is kind of new. He just throws himself into it passionately. Motorland Magazine approached me. They wanted an underwater photograph in their monthly. They paid me $35 and the light went on and I thought, wow, could I get away with this? Could I earn my keep sort of uh, taking, taking uh, pictures underwater and the rest is sort of a mad and wonderful uh, bit of history. No one, certainly Jim, none of the crew ever imagined that Titanic would be the blockbuster that it was. Uh, I think All In uh, grossed something uh, like a billion seven hundred million dollars, unprecedented. Uh, we are recording and we'll do a little look around. Uh... Al's an Imagineer. He looks at things and says, how can I capture this story in visual images? How can I get the emotional quintessence of what is presented as a physical object or something on a script? In the underwater world, he's, he's a legend that, you know, one of the diving greats. He probably has more hours underwater than any human being. He did have an encounter with a great white, uh, you know, tearing a friend of his up pretty badly. This great tail went up behind him. The shark was perhaps a couple of thousand pounds. Uh, I thought it was a killer whale at first. It was so big. And I just wonder, would all of us spontaneously uh, jump in a, the bloodied water with a great white attacking somebody? Uh, Al, Al just did it. You know, he walks tall in those boots, and uh, he never backs down from any threat. I think that Al's greatest contribution is his artistic interpretation of the wonders of the ocean environment. He is a perfectionist. He's never satisfied until he has the absolute perfect image.